two FBI agents all adding up to a terrifying chain of events at a Metro convenience store. And Fox 25 just talked to the clerk whose quick thinking might have saved his life. Fox 25's Tom George is live in Northwest Oklahoma City tonight with the story. Tom. Well, Mike and Wendy, I just spoke with the clerk who was inside when all this happened. He says he was lucky the way things played out. Not only was he able to fight off a man carrying an ax by spraying him with pepper spray, but as soon as the guy got out, as luck would have it, some FBI agents happened to be nearby and were able to catch him. You know, you don't think about stuff like that. Sometimes you just act out of instinct. You... It was that quick thinking that helped Ali Admati when someone came into this store on Portland yesterday afternoon, wearing a hoodie and bandana, armed with an axe, asking for money. And that's when I told him, I'm going to shoot you if you don't leave. He had an axe, he didn't have a gun, so and there was a lot of space between me, so I said, let me try, throw that thing in there, hopefully it'll work. But it didn't work with that guy. Ali didn't have a gun, and the intruder didn't buy it. He says that's when 18-year-old Giovanni Davenport started swinging the axe around, making a dent in the counter, and knocking things over. As Ali started handing over the cash, he saw an opening to break out the pepper spray. I saw his eyes, that all, the only thing I could think of was spray him. You know, I didn't think about the axe or nothing, to be honest. Blinded in the eyes, Davenport stumbled away, running off and dropping the axe. Unfortunately for him, two FBI agents who happened to be nearby saw what was going on and caught him. But uh, probably a lot of cars were driving by. They can see somebody with an axe. I don't think a lot of people will stop for that. But FBI agents, those guys, are, they were awesome. On the way to jail, Davenport reportedly said he was only trying to hit the counter, not Ollie. And a police report says he was also calling for his mama. But he won't be getting any sympathy from the man behind the counter. I heard that when he was crying for his mom. Well, now, Ali actually wasn't hurt in this whole thing, and he's actually back to work right now inside the store. Now, as for Davenport, he's facing a charge of robbery as well as assault with a dangerous weapon. In Northwest Oklahoma City, Tom George, Fox 25 News. Tom, thank you. All new at 5, please say a new program in the Metro will help save lives. It's called Care Track. It's